Hello, this is Don with Mechsoft Support. And in this short video, we're going to be taking a look at Rhino 3D Print 2016. And we're going to show you how easy it is to create a mesh from a point cloud file. Let's get started. From the Rhino 3D Print 2016 Quick Start folder, you'll find a file called rubberduck.csv. This is a comma delimited uh, point cloud file file. And if you can't find that file, just go to the file types and change it to points. And you'll see this rubberduck.csv file. Let's open it. Now, for the point input options dialog, you want to make sure you select comma for the delimiters and check the box to create the point cloud. Okay, here's our point cloud. Now, for this particular part, I know that it needs to be in inches, and if you look down here on the status bar, you see this is in millimeters, so let's change this to inches. Pick OK. Do not scale the model. OK, now we're all set. Now, this point cloud was created from a physical object. It was scanned with a 3D scanner, and we have a series of points that were created. What we want to do is we want to create a mesh from these points and then eventually prepare it to be 3D printed. So the first thing we want to do is create a mesh from this point cloud. We have a command for that. So if you go to the create tab, pick from point cloud, and then select the point cloud and right click. Now as I mentioned, the bottom half of the browser also is the command options area. And what I'm going to do is I'm just, for each of these commands that we use, I'm going to read off what the options are, and then you can enter them uh, on your end to get, achieve the same results. Now, from point cloud for that dialog, we're going to use uh, the multiplier value, which will be 2.5. The max number of nearest neighbors will be 100. The minimum angle would be 10. The max angle will use 120. For the maximum surface angle, we use 45 degrees, and then for search shape radius, we use 1. Okay, let's create it. Now, you'll see up here in the data tree that one mesh was created, and then we have our point cloud here. So we can turn the point cloud off for now. Now, one thing I'd like to mention here, as you can see in the data tree, each object has a checkbox. You can uh, display or hide the object by checking the box or unchecking the box. And then also, if you, in your files, if you don't see the checkboxes, there's a command down here for toggle display of hidden objects. So if you don't see the checkboxes, just check this icon and those boxes will display for you. And also, you'll see over here, we have the display properties tab. I have mesh wires turned on. If you turn them off, you, you won't see the mesh. So we're going to turn the mesh wires on, and then we're going to shade it to get a pretty good view of this mesh that was created from our point cloud. Now obviously, you can see that the mesh has gaps and holes in various places. Now, when you open point cloud files, your May, be, uh, may not have any problems, or the problems that you see may not be very noticeable. So a good thing to do right off the bat when you create a mesh from a point cloud is to do some diagnostics. 